Hello there. Welcome to the California CBEST practice exam. This is the mathematics section of the practice exam. As you already know, you're probably taking this test because you are wanting to become a California teacher. And as part of the process of becoming a California teacher, you're going to be required to pass two sets of exams. The first is the CBEST and the second is the CSET. This um, CBEST is uh, widely considered to be the easier of the two tests and uh, consequently it's not as easy to find information in, for example practice exams and, and explanations of the practice exams for the uh, CBEST as it is the CSET or at least I haven't found it to be so. So I thought I'd go ahead and put some uh, some videos together for you just in case you have the same trouble as I did in just looking for step-by-step -step answers and I've uh, worked these solutions out for you and hopefully you'll find them to be very valuable. The CBEST is going to test your your math skills at a fairly basic level so you want to certainly make sure that you go through the practice CBEST before you actually take the exam just to uh, just to find out what areas you may need to brush up on. Some of these questions, uh, for example question number one, is uh, a question that is probably one of the easiest questions on the exam and uh, if you know how to average um, as you should know how to, to, to do uh, should be quite uh, quite simple however there are others on the CBEST exam that you know they can be just a little bit more well a lot more challenging actually and uh, so we'll go through all of those alright let's take a look at question number one as I said this is an averaging problem alright during a semester a student received scores of 76, 80, 83, 71, 80, and 78 on six tests. What is the student's average score for these six tests? First of all, we're going to add all of these together because these are the scores that he got on the test and then we're going to divide it by six because there are six tests in total, right? So just to reiterate in different words, this test taker took six exams and received these raw scores on the six exams and uh, we want to know what the average score is. So with that, let's go ahead and start. Add all of those together, you get a total of 468 and then we're going to take 468 divided by, of course, six. And that gives us an answer of 78, which uh, we will find right here. So the answer is, um, is C, 78.